Hello! In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how our team, Marjana, Rome, and I, built a full AI-assisted pipeline for generating high-quality car commercials, aimed specifically at streamlining workflows in the advertising industry. Using ChatGPT, our team generated a series of concept images. Rome then took the lead on turning those into a 3D asset. He refined the generated images and used Tencent's Hunan 3D, specifically the Tusheng model, to produce a car mesh. Although the resulting model had a flat bottom, much like Hot Wheels cars, we decided that that was acceptable since the underside wouldn't be visible in our shots. Next, I created a 3D environment using Comfy UI. I followed a tutorial by a YouTuber named Mick Mumpitz, who developed a workflow that transforms a simple blender blockout into a fully rendered scene using shaders. I downloaded his 360 SCXL workflow from Patreon and followed his Google Sheets installation guide, which detailed the required models and directory structures. Once I opened the workflow in Comfy UI, I realized it required a custom depth map and edge map. So I added the depth anything custom node and loaded its safe tensors model to generate a depth map. Then I used the canny edge detection node, fine tuning its threshold to outline the geometry effectively. For the blockout, I created a scene in Blender with four bridge-like shapes enclosed in a sphere. It's important to note that for the setup, you need to include a sphere and a circular platform. This is so the panoramic image that you'll later project looks seamless. Then, you need to add an empty arrow at the center of the scene. This will be used as a mapping reference. Next, add a camera, and it doesn't matter the direction that it points at, but it's useful to point it at the center of what your scene is. Specifically in my case, since it's the same in every direction, it doesn't matter. Then, set the output resolution and the output properties to a 2 to 1 aspect ratio. For me, I set it to 2048 to 1024. Last, you need to set the render engine to cycles. And then, in the camera, you can set the camera type to panoramic with the panoramic type as equal rectangular projection. After rendering the image, I imported it into Comfy UI. The workflow processed the depth and edge maps using advanced control nodes, merged them, and then used a wildcard checkpoint to generate a panoramic 360 environment from the text prompt. I used Realistic Street of New York City, Masterpiece Cinematic Equirectangular Projection 360 Image Photography. After outputting a preview image, the workflow ran it through clear reality upscale model to enhance the resolution. Once I had the image I wanted, I then brought it back into Blender. I applied the panoramic image to the sphere and floor. In order to do this, I had to make sure that I hid the original bridge block out meshes since they wouldn't be needed. Then I created a new material and removed the default BSDF. Then I added a texture coordinate node, set the object and reference to empty, then added a mapping node and connected it to an environment texture node. Feed the texture into a mission shader, then into the material output. Apply the shader to your sphere and ground mesh to finalize the 3D background. Then I imported the car and positioned it with the scene, taking stills from various camera angles. Now, Marjana polished the images using ChatGPT for stylistic refinement and used Photoshop's AI tools to remove artifacts like distracting road textures. She also asked ChatGPT for help generating cinematic camera movements using Higgsfield AI. Both Higgsfield and Kling were used to turn the cleaned up stills into animated video shots of the car. To make clips longer than the standard five seconds, she saved the last frame as a JPEG and used that as a new starting frame to continue the video generation. Finally, she compiled everything in After Effects, blended all the videos into a seamless sequence with consistent color grading and camera motion. She also fixed common AI issues like static wheels or background flickering. For music, we combined tools from Fall AI and Mubert AI to create an original soundtrack that matched the tone of the commercial. And now, that's how we went from a concept to a fully generated car commercial.